Hey, Brian. It's good hey, to yeah. see you here at SHOT Show. Hey, I've been around dogs for a real long time, and I tell you what, I haven't seen a product like yours. You know, can you go over this a little bit? This kennel crate cover is just out of, out of control. Can you give me a little bit of a rundown on this? Sure. Well, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Um, this is the Dixie, Mud River Dixie kennel cover. Okay. Completely insulated. It's got a water-resistant coating on it, so it prevents against dew and light rain. Sure. But um, it's a technical insulation, so even if it does get wet, it's still going to keep your dog warm and dry. Oh, fantastic. Um, Jeff, I like starting off at the bottom because I think this is a very important part, and a lot okay. of people kind of forget about the base every now and then. Sure. It's a waterproof, skid-proof bottom. Yep. So it locks up really nice with like a spray-in bed liner okay. or a truck bed. Yep. Um, but what it is also designed to where it runs all the way up the side here. So if it is sitting in a muddy field okay. or snow in the back of a truck, it's not going to seep up the material gotcha. all over time. Yeah, it seems like that might also prevent, uh, you know, from wearing on the edges like a lot of the crate covers that are out there on the market today. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. Very good. So that's that's the base, and I, like I said, a lot of people forget about the base, but I like to I like to talk about it because I think it's sure. an important part. It's an important of detail, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Um, some other key features: the window cover. This is with the window cover on. Let's say you start out hunting in the field during the day. Yep. Um, it's very cold outside. So what what I've done is I've added this window cover to make it removable. Because okay. the dog comes back to the truck at noon and it's yep. warmed up. All you have to do is pull this off, oh. Jeff. Yeah. And one or two folds. And then there's a storage pocket up here on the top. Oh, nice. All you have to do is slide it in. And it's there when you need it. Yeah. Um, another thing is the window cover has a rubber mesh over it. Okay. It's a heavy-duty rubber mesh. What it does is it dispenses the air. Okay. If the, the rubber mesh in here kind of blows up like a t-shirt on a motorcycle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so it creates more airflow, but also these, these kennels have holes in them. And it's just like a wiffle ball, and it whistles, and it annoys the dog. Yeah. Um, we don't know that because we don't ride in kennels. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Good if, point. If, if, Six hours and the dog's sitting there listening to a whistle the whole time. It really annoys him. Sure. So what this does is it prevents that. Once again, getting back to the animal's you know state of mind when he gets sure. to the hunting field and where he wants to go. You Absolutely. Want to the top, top Absolutely. Of and by this, I'm sure it takes some of the stress away from the dog heading to the field as well as coming back. It allows you, him to settle back down. You bet. He's warm. He's dry. Yep. He's comfortable. He's ready to hunt. Beautiful. So. Oh man. Some other things is the insulation. You'll see it's a quilted yes. um, pattern. The reason it's quilted is if you look at an old school down jacket, all the insulation falls over Cuts time. The bottom, yeah. So what we've done is we've quilted it so it holds the insulation where it needs to be and it'll maintain its integrity over the years. Yeah, it's years. a nice thick quilting too. It's, it's really nice, ni nicely made. Thank you. It's a 12, you know, the outer material is a 1200D nylon, okay. uh, which is just the heaviest weight you can get that's, that's pliable. Sure. Um, it also has a 410 nylon lining so it's pretty much sandwiched in between the material so it's pretty much has three plies you have to go through before you get to the kennel okay so wow. once again get back to the animal safety and well-being is we put if everybody's used a kennel it's either rolled over in their yep. truck or it's blown out once or twice um, but also you know we do a lot of duck hunting in Arkansas and so sometimes we don't want our dogs running through the swamps for two or three miles and wearing out before we get there sure so we'll throw these on the back of the you know the rhino or we'll throw them on the back oh, of the okay. ATV yep. and we'll strap it down oh. so you can strap it down in the, in the truck to keep once again from rocking and getting the dog yeah. sick I know guys that actually bolt these things down to the bottom of their pickup truck in the bed yeah to prevent that from happening now that exactly. they have this they won't need to do that no. and it's you know you can still get it out you don't have to unscrew something absolutely um, Handles too, yep. the ease of picking it up, throwing it in the back of a truck. Wow, or these SUV. are some pretty heavy duty handles. They are. We, um, nice. we search long and hard for some nice heavy duty yeah. handles. Um, well, these types of details are what I think makes this, this crate just unbelievable. Something that you know the average guy is not going to be able to find out there. And now you guys have filled that void. It's a tremendous product. What else you have? Well, Jeff, um, <clears throat> on, the, on the back of it, once again, anybody that's spending any time out in the field or just even traveling with their dog is. The need for bumpers training, just to even to you sure. know to stop at a rest stop or you're in the field training. There are the you got bumpers, little. you got water bottles, anything you need when you're out there. You have sure. a large gear pocket or dog food pocket. Yep. Um, and you know, once again, my my theory was when I designed the Dixie kennel cover was I want to be able to put all my gear if I'm if I'm traveling with one dog or two dogs, I want to have all their gear together. I want yes. to go in the back of the truck and go. Yep. I don't want to have four bags laying around. I want one bag. Yeah, so, you're a man. You're a man very similar to me. I don't like to be fumbling for things at 4 o'clock in the morning. Exactly. So I like to be able to pack it up and just go. I want to hunt. Well, this looks like a terrific product, man. I know uh, we've just started carrying the product, and we've been doing real well with it. Um, you know, like I said, I've been around dogs for a real long time, and I just haven't seen 
freight cover like this, so when we saw this, boy, did it catch my attention. Right. Good job with the product. Thank you very much.